Prince Tripimir is credited with founding the first Benedictine monastery in Riginice. In this way, he set the direction for the cultural and educational development of his country. Considering the importance of the Order of St. Benedictine in the history of Croatian culture, this was a very important event. However, we cannot exclude the possibility that one of his successors founded the monastery. In 852, there was a very important event in the history of Croatia. Trpimir prepared a donation deed in which he confirmed to the Archbishop of Split, Petar, the ownership of the Church of St. George on Puteli, near Split. Trpimir also gave him a tithe of his estate for the Archbishop's donation of a certain amount of silver to the monastery in Rijenis. Coming back to the document itself, which was written in Latin, Trpmir is called Dux Croatorum Juvatus Munere Divino, that is, by God's grace, the Prince of the Croatians, and this is the first information in history containing the name of Croatia. This can also be explained as proof that Trpmir had great autonomy in its principality, and the fact that the document changed the territorial name Dalmatia to the ethnic name Croats proves the power of the Croatian ruler. In the 860s, there was a conflict between the Pope and the Patriarch of Constantinople over competences in the church. The Archbishop of Split decided, with the consent of the papacy, to remain with the Patriarch of Constantinople and then gave Trpimir his consent to establish the first Croatian bishopric in Nin, which was subordinate to Aquileia, which had the right to conduct missions in this area. This event began several decades of rivalry between the bishopric of Nin and the archbishopric of Split. It is possible that Trpimir saw the need to include the prestigious, nominally Byzantine city of Split into his state. Perhaps this was one of the reasons for locating its headquarters in Klis, on a hill overlooking Split. Around 864, Trpimir, the first progenitor of the national Trpimirovich dynasty, died. Trpimir most likely left behind three sons, Petar, Zdeslav, and Muncimir, but the name Petar could have been the name of one of the two previous sons. Unfortunately, the increase in the importance of the princely power during his rule contributed to the destabilization of the state after his death, when internal fighting began but more on that in the next episode. In the next episode, I will discuss the short reign of Zdeslau and Domagoj. There will also be a film about the history of money soon, so stay tuned. It is very time consuming to create such a video, so please leave a thumbs up, subscribe and write a comment. Thanks in advance and see you later.